In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you how you can scroll a very large title with lots of text across the screen from right to left without using keyframes. Please look at the following example and then we'll show you how to construct this yourself. What we have in place already are elements on three different tracks. First of all, in track number one, we have this video of this pill bottle dropping and the content spilling out. And then we have on track number two, our audio, which is basically some background music. And then on track number three, we have our object, which is this drug safety month graphic. So what we want to do is add some text scrolling across the screen. We'll put that on track number two. So what I want to do is highlight track two to activate it, and then we'll go to our title room. I'll click on the T or press the F7 function key. Now what I want to do is find one that says scroll left. To make it easy to find, I'm going to click the down arrow and choose all content. And then I'm going to click the search bar at the top, type in the word scroll, and press enter. Now here are my scroll options. I like scroll left. I'll take and drag it and drop it down to track number two. Now when we look at our text, the default is my title here repeated three times. I'm going to double click on it to get into the title designer. I could type it in, but what I found is it's very hard to proof when you're doing this. So what I've actually done is I've taken the text I want to use and put it into a TXT file. And here it is. This is all the, the text we're going to scroll across. All I need to do is highlight it, do control C to copy, and I'll minimize that. Double click, do control V to paste, and there I have it. The only thing I want to do beside that Make sure we're horizontally centered. And then I'll click on OK. So now I can have some text fly across the screen. And there it goes. Oh, way too fast. So to lengthen the, the text, we'll shorten the time frame. So if I make it longer and play it again, we're going to see it perhaps come across the screen in a readable fashion. And that is something I can read. Now you have two options if you have the text moving too fast. You can lengthen it like this, or you can reduce the number of characters in the text. Now I'm limited here because I don't want the text to be longer than my video and my audio. So in this case, I would probably reduce the text if it's slightly too long. The other option is you have to pick larger audio and larger video segments. So what I'm going to do is take this and we'll match it to the length of my audio and video. And now we'll play it and see if, if I like the speed. Mm, that's okay, but it's not exactly what I want. So what I'm going to do is take out the last sentence, recycle at your nearest pharmacy. So I'll double click on that, get into my title designer again. And then we're going to use the arrow keys to move through the text. Now, in this case, what I actually have to do is I have to move the text and then delete it. So then I'll move it back about where I want it. We'll go back to the option that says horizontal center and click on OK. There's another thing I want to do with the text, too. If I, if I watch how this plays, it goes from the very edge of the screen to the other edge of the screen. And I don't want it to start at the edge or finish at the edge. What I'd like to do is have it start a little bit in on both sides. So what I can do now is I can highlight the text and then click on my tools option and choose my mask designer. Now I'm going to use a square mask. So I'll double click on that and here are the boundaries of it. I may want it to end just to the left of my drug safety month. 
and I can come in maybe where the pill bottle starts. You can adjust this as you like and click on OK. And now when I play this, we're going to have the action of the pill bottle and my image. And notice where it's coming in. Just about where I want to and notice, notice where it's going out on the left side. And again, if it's too fast, I'll have to edit the text or lengthen the video and audio to match what I want but it's better than it was to start with. So those are some tips on how you can accomplish this kind of task without using any keyframing whatsoever. And you can modify the font characteristics all, all day long as you could any other title in CyberLink PowerDirector to customize it to fit your needs.